Data is the new gold of the automotive world. Modern vehicles generate up to 4 gigabytes of it per hour. At regular intervals, the data package collected in the car is sent to the manufacturer. If a problem arises, the manufacturer finds out immediately. But what does that mean for drivers? Let's take a look at that today. This data is used for a wide range of services, such as remote diagnostics directly by the manufacturer. This is a problem for most independent workshops because they can no longer access much of the vehicle data. Today we want to know what this growing data power of the manufacturers means for us motorists. Many motorists have their own personal favourite garage. These often smaller brand independent businesses usually work more cheaply than the large authorised workshops. That's due to lower hourly rates and cheaper spare parts from the independent parts trade. With our Vox car doctor, Hans Jorgen, Annie wants to find out what that means for him. How much access do you still have to these new vehicles? Which data can you get at? It's actually become quite difficult. Right. Nowadays, we're pretty much excluded. I've already noticed that. For example, we had a fairly new model and had a service according to the vehicle manufacturer's specifications, of course. That's the requirement when we do the service on a vehicle. And then we wanted to reset the service, but it didn't work. The vehicle manufacturer blocked that, so I had to drive the vehicle to someone else and then have the service reset. What are these areas you can't see? Give me an idea. Well, it may well be that I can't get into the vehicle's communication system. The cars also have communication failures from time to time. And then they say, no, these are areas where I simply exclude the independent workshop. They have no business being there. What can we do? We're out of there. And then, unfortunately, we have to shut the door and tell the customer, you have to go to the vehicle manufacturer. That seems unfair. But, after all, I'm the car driver and I want my sense of freedom. I want to choose where I go. If I were a manufacturer and developed and programmed something, I'd also want to retain a certain sovereignty. So, I understand it, but I clearly belong to the group that wants freedom and justice for all. So, we do a test. We chose a BMW for this, but we could have chosen any other manufacturer. We provoke an error message in the BMW. Jürgen briefly disconnects the plug from the mass airflow sensor. In order not to be tracked down in the workshop, Annie changes the location. Let's have a look. Here we have BMW Assistant, Concierge Service, Accident Assistance, Roadside Assistance, Customer Care. I'll take the Roadside Assistance. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That was quite a welcome. This is Annie Dunkelmann. I'm in a rental car and I can see a warning light. You've come to the right place. Let's have a look. All right, the mass airflow sensor doesn't seem to be working properly. Can you see that right now? Yes, I can see that because the error memory has been sent. Without further ado, the employee locates them at their current location. Where exactly are you going now in Cologne? What direction? Towards the center. But there's an independent workshop I know near here. Ah, no, sorry, an independent workshop can't do that much. Besides, it doesn't make sense to go to an independent workshop with a car that's still under warranty. I have another idea. In, we have an authorized partner and they could look at the car more closely. From your point of view, it's not far either. Please give me your telephone number. I'll let the technician know directly. They'll wait for you there and receive you. At first, I thought, wow, the employee from the breakdown service was super nice. He was able to help me straight away. He immediately found out what it was or was able to see what it was and recommended the nearest garage. And afterwards, I thought, wow, he knew what kind of vehicle I had. He knew that I had a three-litre diesel, that it was a BMW 5. He knew where I was. 
and that made me feel a bit strange afterwards. The Avcar Alliance is extremely concerned about the data sovereignty of manufacturers. The vehicle manufacturer pre-selects the data, that is, all vehicle data always goes first to the vehicle manufacturer on their server, and there this data is pre-selected, which data the third party provider receives. Basically, it's the customer who pays the bill, to put it bluntly. The whole issue is not just about over-the-air access. It starts with diagnostics. So, data access via the OBD interface, which has been in vehicles for many years, is limited by access restrictions. Now we'd like to go to the workshop appointment arranged via the over-the-air breakdown service. Hello, I called the roadside assistance service earlier with my vehicle via my board system. Hello, that's right, we know. I'd like to have the key and read the data. What information does it give you? All the data, including the error via the key. Of course. Annie talks to another employee. Could I have taken it to an independent garage? I was around the corner from one, but I wasn't sure. Nine. No, they couldn't have helped you. No, because they can't get in, is that right? Exactly, and so as not to incur costs, you have to go to the contract partner or a branch. An independent workshop has no options. This service is free of charge at the authorized workshop. The error has been deleted in the meantime, as there was no defect. BMW also confirmed on request that in principle any workshop can have access to the vehicle system. For this, you have to pay per use or take out a paid subscription. When I use a modern, connected vehicle, I reveal a lot about myself personally and about the condition of the vehicle. That's something to bear in mind. Of course, that allows you to do a lot, but you have to say, if I can't choose my workshop freely, it also limits me too. You have to weigh it up, but we do that every day anyway when we share our data and any time we use our smartphones.